we're not going to look at the changes of state. Okay. Now we're going to be mentioning the processes that you know through which those changes take place, and we're going to start with melting. Have you ever bought ice cream and it melted before you ate it? Now you know what I'm talking about. Melting is the process of converting a solid into a liquid because of the increase in temperature. Okay, so that my ice cream will be in a very, a very low temperature. When it continues increasing temperature, it melts. And every solid has a point, has a particular temperature at which it melts. What about stone? That one too. Is it? Maybe no. Maybe yes. What about ice? That one too. What about metals? They can also melt. Yes, they have a melting temperature, the, a, t a temperature to which they melt. And that's what we shall refer to as the melting point. Okay, we are calling it a point. Okay, melting point. Water melts at a temperature of zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so it means if I have iced water and I bring it out to the atmosphere or I start warming it on a pan, it's, you know, it, there is a time before it really melts. But once it reaches zero degrees, it starts to turn into water. Whatever part of the ice that reaches zero, it melts until all of it has melted. And so that point is what I refer to as melting point. There are other substances, you know, that have their different melting points, as we shall see on. For now, let us go to the next uh, conversion, which we refer to as the As freezing now uh, you, you, when someone says please freeze that whatever it is you can put your whatever you want there mm -hmm. what do they mean by freezing okay they mean that come put it make sure that it turns from a liquid to a solid if I say frozen water frozen juice, frozen whatever it is else. I mean, it was once um, a, a, a liquid, but now it has converted to a solid. For the most part, decrease in temperature is required. In some countries, temperatures go so low that lakes become frozen lakes. You've heard of that? Because of the decreased temperatures. Okay? So, they also have what you call freezing point. The temperature at which a substance freezes, but it's the same as the melting point. Okay? So, if the freezing point, melting point of water is zero degrees Celsius, then the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. We can leave that at that. And now we go to evaporation. And what is evaporation? It is the conversion of a liquid to gas. For example, that process by which Water leaves maybe a plant or a sea, uh, if 
have ever noticed. Even even when you're sweating, let's say you've been running in the morning, or you see someone in, in you know at a certain angle, you can see vapor going off their skin. The water is converting into vapor. Okay, so it is evaporation. Actually, many other substances can evaporate. Okay, so this by that by that we mean they change from liquid to gas. Even water bodies evaporate. Okay, so usually we need an increase in temperature for evaporation to take place. So, evaporation is change of state from liquid to gas below the boiling point of that liquid we are going to talk about boiling point, okay? Which now leads us to our next point, which is boiling. Now, boiling is the process of changing from liquid to a gas due to increase in temperature. Actually, every liquid can turn into a gas by boiling. The temperature at which it starts to really boil is what we refer to as boiling point. Okay. We talked about melting point. And now we are talking about boiling point. Boiling point is the constant temperature at which a, so as a liquid boils. Okay. Now, during boiling, there are bubbles that start forming. Have you ever taken notice? Maybe if I'm heating water in a kettle, bubbles start forming from the source where the heat is coming from upward. And for the most part, of course, we heat from below. We don't heat from up. So, bubbles start forming. Now, those bubbles, they start going up. By that time, we say that the liquid is starting to boil, okay? Also, important for us to, to note that I had forgotten that freezing can also known as, can also be called a solidification. Solidifying, when a substance, a liquid, becomes a solid. And now, we go to the last part, our next process of conversion of state of matter state of matter is what we refer to as condensation what is condensation it is the conversion of a gas to a liquid okay for example see if you have ever boiled water in a kettle and it has a cover you know water converts into steam then when it reaches a cooler part of the kettle it converts into water again or say you're boiling maybe you put a spoon okay uh, on, to, on above the steam when you remove that spoon it's going to have drops of water where did that water come from the steam condensed back into into water this also applies in formation of rain. Okay, remember we have clouds. Now clouds are gases, okay, that keep moving. Uh, the plants, water leaves the plants. It also leaves the legs. It also leaves your body. Okay, so these clouds move, but when the temperatures go low, the clouds, you know, the water, the gas, the vapor in the clouds. Uh, condenses from the wood. Okay, the train is down. So this one usually is caused by decrease in temperature. And so any uh, any other vapor, most other vapors can convert back into the liquid of that substance. But for example, ethanol. Okay. Ethanol can boil and form vapor, and that vapor can condense to form liquid ethanol again. Now, let us look at, summarize this. 
with a diagram. Okay, I'm going to put here a box, another box here. Another box here. Okay. Now, this box is going to have particles. I have a box right there. Particles are closely packed together. Particles have very small spaces between them. Particles are arranged in a regular pattern. So we can almost already tell what this is. This is a solid. Okay. And here I have my other one. Particles are irregularly arranged. They are close together, but not too close. They have bigger spaces between them. So you can almost already tell that these are particles to represent a liquid. And now here I have my particles. Far apart from each other. Irregularly arranged. Obviously, gases. Okay. Now, we have said that the process of conversion from a solid to a liquid is what we have referred to as what? Melting. Okay. And then from from of the liquid to the solid is what we have referred to as freezing or solidification. We have also looked at one that converts from liquid to gas, which we have referred to as boiling or evaporation. Okay, boiling when the, the liquid has reached its boiling point, evaporation when the liquid is below its its boiling point. So. Water can convert to gas by evaporation and boiling, okay, in the different cases. We have also said that gas can convert to liquid by condensation. However, there is a special process, okay, there is a special process by which a solid can convert into a gas, okay, directly without first melting. And that is what we refer to as sublimation. Sublimation refers to the change of state directly from solid to gas and also from gas to solid without going through the liquid field. We have only few substances that can do that. Okay, we have some special substances that can sublime, for example. So we are now going to talk about sublimation.